do still have counter pick topside and it's going to be the Jace coming in. These are, I'm gonna be blunt here. These are some wild looking team comps. Just <laughs> comparing the icons we have next to each other from last week to this week. They I look. gotta be playing at my top level. Gotta prove myself, prove that I deserve a spot on a top team. And I think he's done just that this split. Is Impact's gonna go in? Yeah, Impact ready to start this one off. Dice is right back away and he's ready for the first blood. Now Busio regrets showing up here. That roster really showed that, hey, this can work. It doesn't need to be building a team around imports as the carries. You can have these young uh, players. It makes you a lot tankier as well, you know, getting the additional HP can, can feel quite nice. Uh, but sometimes I'll see people go tier into Landry's and things like that. So it'll be interesting to see if he does actually struggle whatsoever with the mana. Well, Jan has hit his 25 stack mark to get the ever so critical AOE on the queue around about six minutes into the game. Inspire jumping in. They want to go after APA. He drops the meteor on top of the Zinjao, but it ain't going to grab a kill here. Jensen escaping back underneath the turret as APA gets a spear in his spine and Inspired gets the first kill of the game for FlyQuest. All tied up now, one to one on kills as Impact. Coming down here. Yeah, Team Liquid's not going to get anything back in terms of PvP just yet, but they're going to try to steal away some chickens, get something for their troubles. Inspired, nope. He's got the smite on the big chicken. I feel at least get the second one. Inspired's still looking to go here. He's got the ulti ready. Now they've locked down the enemy jungler, and FlyQuest gets a nice punish. Inspired's ready to go right back in. Core JJ tries to escape here with a nice little bit of Spider-Man moves, and he will sling his way to safety. Try. Sometimes you would see junglers try to run in, smite, steal one of them way just to prevent the six point from being achieved but no fly quest gonna get all six exactly you can see smolder on the bot side so that's the trade right yawn down there he does have but still doing all right exactly and he's not playing against a super easy matchup where you can just wq on cooldown to get those stacks but they're looking for a uh -oh. dive here yeah i don't know if he's gonna get away from this one at all that flash was not the so all those plates are gonna be falling down in bot lane they'll get the first tower they'll get the dragon and they get the kill and now I want to check in on the gold here. It's about 800 gold ahead, even just individually. Angle to make that happen. We'll see now if they can turn it into something up here on the top side. Whippo jumps in on impact. Yeah, it's a nice trade from him, but now he's used some cooldowns. Humpty's standing on top of the control ward. They really want Whippo here. He goes to the skies. Impact goes in, but now Busio's ready to reinforce. He finds a knockup, and Whippo's already down. Humpty takes the kill, and more damage pours through. APA gets it, and a beautiful hook onto the third target. Puts Jensen in the dirt next to him. APA is going to die. TL, yeah, are they even going to try to challenge no, for this? They're giving it up. Yep, Impact still has the Unleashed Teleport if they wanted to use it, but it would have been way too late. So FlyQuest moves to Soul Point now as TL gets their first turret of the game and the Tier 1 arrives. is also right about 23 minutes on the clock. So the expectation, I think, is that Yon will hit the mark. He will have that Smolder buff as Core JJ is forced to flash away from the grand entrance. If Busio... He's just playing the stronger champion. You know, Crescent Guard is so powerful. The ulti over on, on Zinzao allows you to be so durable in the front line, so disruptive. for much better of a spot to have to play this fight from. But we'll see who has the execution, like you were talking about. Masu has taken a little bit of damage here so far. A little bit of a speed up coming in as Inspired wants to start out the fight. But here comes Mom over the top. Masu has to get out of the way as Impact's in the middle of everybody. But is going to be burned down first. Execution finds one. Execution finds two. Shut down over to Yawn. And Team Liquid has won the first part of the fight. Jensen, Masu, and Whippo all standing around seeing if there's any way they might be able to still fight this. But I don't think there is. Soul denied as FlyQuest died. Team Liquid. Stats and skill best with skill are range and moves. I agree. Uh, that is going to be tough here for Whippo. Also, not face checking the brushes. That can be a problem. That can be a problem as he is. see a spinning dragon as Jensen and Inspired have to try to get the hell out of town, but Umpty's looking to cut him off. Say goodnight, Jensen. Here comes Mom. Here comes Impact. Here comes APA ready to keep this going. Breath of Light to try to slow him down here a little bit with the Rylies as Umpty. And the rest of TL aren't going to get these remaining three. But Jensen's dead for the next 30 seconds. Whippo only just now respawned. Star Inspired Baron. has been chunked. Baron could be a play here. Oh. Or they might still be looking for, oh, no, Masu. Masu, buddy, this is not the spot you needed to be. It's Baron for sure after that one. Team Liquid roaring to life. Yeah, that is tough there. I think Masu thought for sure they were going to be going down in the river towards Baron or something. And now Inspired's caught as well. He's slowed up by the Rylites. You're gone. What was that? There's no way that crap was that important? Oh my god, the wheels have completely fallen off for FlyQuest. 
you know, this was a game where maybe it was slightly in the favor of Tia after they got that fourth dragon, you know, deny this soul. But I still thought it could have been anyone's game. These last couple of minutes, though, has just been disaster after disaster after disaster. Face check and bot lane, you die. Go up top lane, you die. Then overstay is just the consummate professional, right? He's exactly what you want from a League of Legends pro. He's maintained at the top for so long, but APA potentially in trouble. TL trying to bail him out. I don't know if APA is the one in trouble just yet. The skies descend, and Team Liquid's ready to reinforce their boy. Here it comes. Yawns on a rampage as APA kites away with a breath of light, and Yawns ready to follow up here for a triple kill on Smolder's execution. FlyQuest thought they might have been able to make a move. Angle. They might have been able they to go, go for, for that water? Drake, but it ain't gonna happen. Masu and Jensen just running the hell away. Yeah, they're not gonna try to chase in. They want to focus on the game win here. Not gonna go for the Penta, but TL looking fully in control. FlyQuest look for the desperation play. But the stasis answers everything, and then APA just flies over the wall, makes them look silly as TL are closing in here. They're looking to put the finishing touches on this one. They just leave APA to stand there and take the Drake. You can see it takes incredi incredible mechanics to take down the Drake as Aurelian Soul. This you is do Drake need to Drake sit action. there and just puke on it for a solid 15 seconds. There can so. only be one. There is only one, and he is APA. Dangle, but now we're going to watch Bwipo potentially in some trouble here once again. Is Yon and Korra with him? Yon being there just makes everything so scary. Accelerated shock blasting going to find the target. Mom roars in. Lucio trying to protect Masu, inspired here in the front, but he might just be bursted down. Instead, they turn around onto Yon, but they can't kill him in time. Breath of Light from the side. Yon is godlike, and there's just nothing left for FlyQuest to do. A double kill for Yon. Masu is slowed by the Breath of Light with the Rylai's Crystal Scepter, and Masu's dead too. APA picks up another, and Umpty's not ready to stop. Jensen and Busio running for their lives, but their lives are forfeit. A double kill for APA. He's He's ready to make it a triple. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Liquid are ready for Super Week. The breath of life becomes the breath of death there from APA, chasing them down, getting three kills. Team Liquid, they were down in the early game. They trusted themselves to dig in, defend, and scale up. And they're going to scale straight into a victory against the number one team, starting off Super Week with a dub. Well played game there from T.